there will never be one guy or one girl, um, but just to be among of those who are seen as the best in the industry. I would like that. That's how social media are helping with that. Being an influencer means that I had the opportunity to start my own business as a personal trainer. So that you come down. So that we want to hold it. In 2015, Morten Norgard began studying his bachelor's degree in sports science. At the time, he was unsure about what his career path would be. So he began posting about fitness on Instagram. And as the years went by, I got more followers and I got more and more into um, fitness. The amount of followers I uh, had by being or trying to be an influencer uh, got me to where I am today. So it got me uh, the opportunity to start uh, my own business. It felt like it was meant to be that I needed to do this personal training because I had a great reach. The most popular social media platform for influencers is Instagram, with an average of 93% of influencer marketing campaigns. YouTube holds the second place. To give a better understanding of what an influencer is, we contacted Fergal Quinn, lecturer in journalism at the University of Limerick in Ireland. I suppose it's a type of stealth advertising um, that's always been there in different types of media, but has probably gotten more prominence in the, uh, has certainly gotten more prominence in the age of social media. I have uh, done it this uh, personal brand kind of way uh, and putting myself out there um, and being personal, uh, I think that's the way the social media works best. Actually, når du trækker skuldrene ned, mm -hmm. så kommer din albu i den position, de nu gør, ikke? Okay. okay. Men hvis du kommer til at slippe dem, sådan et stykke. If you're trying too hard to be unique, you're not. So if you just, if you just be yourself, that, I think that's the greatest way to reach people. Actually. Kører med the big boy plates. And I don't think many of my clients don't. Uh, get me as a coach because they think I'm the smartest. Uh, they think I can uh, help them reach their goals, of course. Uh, they also think I seem nice or I seem cool or I seem like a guy they want to uh, chat with. <laughs> Time spent as an influencer has allowed Morton to work according to his own schedule building relationships with his clients, whilst creating content for his growing social media platforms. Uh, the programs I write for people, I can do 2 a.m. in the morning, you know, and uh, all the editing I can do whenever I want to, uh, where I want to. But the only thing I need to do outside of this room is actually only filming and personal training. When you're just starting on Instagram or any social platform, you need to test things off. I don't need to look at someone else's platform and, oh shit, I need to do it more like that because it seems to work for him. Try different styles of posts and one, see how, uh, which ones gets the most uh, reach and uh, see what you like the most, what content do you like um, creating the most of. So in the fitness um, industry, you could uh, take a picture of um, maybe a chocolate bar and a protein bar and write a long post about that. Um, that's pretty popular, but it's not me. So I would like to um, share one of my clients progress or I would like to share a video of me uh, doing some training stuff, deadlifting or squatting.
there's um, um, room for client, more direct business stuff. Uh, my own training, which kind of is promoting my own business, but, but also is just me training and getting giving advice. And then there's just some posts, mostly stories. There's just bad dad jokes to give something other than just fitness. I made a YouTube series about um, my competition in 2017, where I competed in a bodybuilding uh, category called Men's Physique, where we wear board shorts. Uh, the show is called Newcomers, and I was um, out seeing the competition this year, and a guy came up to me and said he uh, has still he has uh, watched the series. Uh, I thank me for having made it. I went through what he has just went through. Um, so people are still watching it and that's quite nice because they can see themselves in the process of uh, prepping for the show. It was pretty awesome. So, det blev til en tredje plads. We fucking did it. It's always nice to feel um, like people want to follow you and like you. It, it is always nice and it's not because I don't uh, get happy when I reach a certain number of, uh, of subscribers. The number doesn't mean that much to me anymore. Um, I see the number as uh, something, okay, here are we now and in the future we need to see some progress. Right now I have clients to support me financially, so I don't stress about uh, I need to have 20,000 on Instagram or 30,000. I know I'm going to hit that number and I don't care if it's uh, tomorrow or a year from now. Across the globe, the influencer market has grown from an estimated $2 billion worth in 2017 to a predicted $10 billion industry in 2020. Types of influencer range from nano influencers with 1,000 to 10,000 followers and mega influencers with 1 million to 5 million followers. People are uh, making quite considerable amounts of money um, uh, doing so. So yeah, absolutely. Any more than advertising, marketing has always been a, a particular type of career. This is just a, a, another form of it. Instagram is mostly uh, sponsored uh, posts uh, I have done where either I've got three stuff or I got money and three stuff to do some promotion for uh, mostly fitness clothing. So I got uh, Puma sent me a bag with uh, some gym clothes that I uh, should try. Or in this case, I just need to shout them out. Uh, if I wear it on my story, but it's always nice to get free stuff um, Especially gym clothes because I wear a lot of it <laughs> um, And YouTube is just uh, the ads you put in your video. I've made a very very small amount of money from So it has never been my main income on it's just been a, a little drop in the ocean uh, that's nice to have, but not something I want to chase. I have seen some um, horrible comments on some YouTube videos and uh, I feel sorry for the people who are receiving them. I hope they can deal with it, but some of them are pretty hard. As a human, um, one couldn't help but, but worry um, uh, for somebody who is putting, making their face and their personality and their home and uh, uh, so much 
part of their their their, their job, you know. Um, is it, surely there's a risk it becomes a 24-hour thing. Surely there's a thing that if it fails, that your whole sense of self might, uh, you, you know, it may affect your whole sense of self. I haven't had um, that much hate or negative vibes on any of my uh, social media, actually, uh, which is which I'm very grateful for, of course. I had a camera looking like this before uh, and with no mic on it, so I upgraded so I could get better sound. Um, because in the gym it's pretty loud of all kinds of noises. I have a tripod so I can hold it out and uh, set it up when I film uh, me training or stuff like that. The challenges I have faced is mostly um, when the camera isn't working or something like that. Currently, one of Morton's biggest struggles as an influencer is finding the balance to create quality YouTube videos. He is in the process of hiring a videographer to help him film and edit his YouTube content to keep his subscribers engaged. On YouTube, they're pretty young, so maybe 15, and they don't need a personal trainer right now. Du ligger der, siger. Yeah, the guy or the girl that's 15 years old today will be 18 in three years, and the one who's looking that's 18 today is 21 in three years. So see us as an as an investment in the future. I played it hard for Yeah, Fast dig selv ned i bænken. Der. Træk dig selv til stangen. Ned i bænken. Der. Igen. Fast dig selv ned i bænken. Der. Den var god en med. I think the personal trainer in business have um, evolved a lot over the past 10 years uh, with social media. And I think it will uh, change a lot in the next 10 years. Um, so I, I'll do this as long as it's relevant to getting clients and getting food on the table. I'm very lucky to be born when I was born. I have a great life here in Copenhagen and it's opened lots of opportunities um, for me and I didn't think I will be uh, sitting here today if it wasn't for social media. Yeah.